Okay, what we have here is a chart that is designed to evaluate the drive system for a go-kart so that it can climb hills. Basically what this is designed to do is demonstrate that a go-kart can climb a 10 degree hill. This is 10 degrees here. And this particular go-kart is 230 pounds. It has a 10 inch rear drive, a uh, 10 inch rear wheel and then the rear drive sprocket is this lower um, axis here. The side axis here talks about the ratio, the acceleration, the miles per hour, and the horsepower. and compares all the values to figure out whether or not your go-kart is going to climb hills. Bottom line is, if your go-kart drive system is in this side, in this side here, it's going to fail. Your clutch is going to smoke. However, if your ratio, for example, falls in line right here with a 12 to 1 ratio, that's what that's saying, then your go-kart will go 15 miles per hour. This particular go-kart has 5 horsepower. Um, the acceleration is um, 10, and because this is multiplied by 10, you divide this by 10, so you actually have 1 feet per second squared, that's what that equates to and then this particular ratio is 12 to 1, that's what that's saying. And what is this go-kart actually re required to have for a rear sprocket? Um, number of teeth, you would have to have 120 teeth and what that amounts to looking at like is this. Here's your drive sprocket for your engine. Here's your rear drive sprocket for your um, axle and then here's your tire. As you can see, that your uh, drive sprocket is way, way too big. So what? That's why we throw in the 12 to 1 ratio.